Hello guys, the DB Grounded here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Tubazikuji versus TPR Sukiomi, and this is going to be a $175 tournament finals. Also, if you want to play in any future tournaments like this one, you can check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page down below at the very top of the description, and then hopping right in, we are going to go ahead and we are going to see Tub is a cutie when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Happy Memory, Pretty Memory, My Friend Pearly, Sleepy Memory, Book of Eclipse. They have Room Heart, Talents, Prisma, Arrival, and Abscession. So we're going to start this off with Activate Sleepy in the draw phase, Discard Happy, Bring Out Per Lily, Per Lily Effect on Summon, Go Search Out Field Spell. We already have access to Trap Card if our play goes through. So we're going to go Per Lily Effect, Target Sleepy, Upgrade into the New Ore. Activate my friend Pearly, then pay 500 life points, reveal Sleepy, Sleepy, Delicious, get Sleepy to hand, then activate Street, activate Sleepy, chain New War to attach and set the trap from the deck, and then set Pretty, set Eclipse, end phase, attach Sleepy, pass, they draw Imperm. Uh, that's not bad actually, I mean you can Imperm here in draw phase, you, you kind of have to, right, to stop draw 3. Then they're going to go chain Pretty Memory. Chain New War to attach. Both players gain a thousand. That's just going to give their uh, New War an extra spin. And then they're going to activate New War Effect to draw any response. And then chain the trap card. And the reason why you do that here is because right now the New War is negated by Imperm. Um, so even, you know, let's say New War Chain Link 1, Trap Chain Link 2, even if this goes through, you still don't draw off of this. Um, but the reason why you do that is because if the opponent chains like a Book of Moon here to stop the trap card, then this is booked and it's no longer affected by Imperm, so you'll still draw one. So like at the worst, you draw one card if they book you. Um, then they're going to go New Order Draw, New Order Draw, New Order Draw, Draw Book, Lily, and Nib. Hey, there we go. There's a hand trap. We got a little bit of follow up and a hand trap. They're going to go Normal Sum Room Heart. Room heart effect, go search, grab out Torrid, and then nothing there, they said you're fine, special summon out Torrid, okay. It's like if you want to activate Starfrost on that Torrid, now that's a different story. Or if you're going to go Abscession on Torrid, that's a different story. Now we're going to put Torrid to the bottom in response to that, then they're going to go Talents, Take, Chain New War, Chain New War, put back the Abscession, put back the Room Heart, and then they admit defeat. So moving on to game two now, we are going to see the Monadium player be going first. We got Book of Eclipse, Ash Blossom, Pretty Memory, Stray Pearly Street, and Pretty Memory. They have Peaceful Planet, Called by Peaceful Planet, Reichhart, and Arrival. So I wonder how big of a Scarecall package they're playing. Uh, they may have just gotten, you know, pretty unlucky. Still fine though. Uh, the field spell can search out Visa Starfrost. They're gonna go activate Peaceful Planet, chain Ash Blossom, chain Called By. Just a you know one for one there. Go grab Torrid. Mhm. Mm so our only other going to second card is now Book of Eclipse. Normal right card, no effect. Special summon out Torrid. And then we're gonna go into Light Heart. Activate the Light Heart effect to go search for the Primitive Planet. Eh, not quite that. Yeah. Grab out Primitive Planet, and then over the Peaceful Planet, activate the Primitive Planet to go search. And then we're going to search out for a Visa Starfrost, activate Starfrost to destroy, and then Special Summon out. New Chain Link Torrid Effect to summon out from the deck that's going to bring out a Meek. Yup. Okay, um, activate a rival to summon back. I don't even know exactly what we're going to do here. Are we going to summon back? Yeah, if that's our next play, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's like make Baron and then go into the fusion and then we can fusion pop meek. And then we can go into dispatter, into cross sheep into i'm not sure from there because crushy doesn't actually do anything but we're gonna go astro loud to pop meek and then activate the meek effect well i guess it would i guess the cross sheep could have potentially have done something but we also kind of messed up our zones by summoning the baron in this zone and the fusion in this zone because if we summon baron here and the fusion here then couldn't we go like uh you know bring out from the deck Oh, wait. 
Never mind. I guess that really doesn't change anything. Yeah, I was thinking about it the wrong way. I was getting like the two lines mixed together because I was thinking about the Crimson Dragon into the Disc Patter, which they're still going to do here. And now they're going to go Disc Patter effects, summon out Star Frost, okay. Um, and then pass turn. Yeah. See? That, that is where I was getting confused on where we were going to go. But we just weren't going to go anywhere. That's fine. That's fair, I guess. Sure. Uh, not a very great end board, though, when you're playing for $175 and you play through zero hand traps, by the way. I'm not saying that's playing through a hand trap because you open called by. So we don't count that. Activate Sleepy, Chain Book of Eclipse, Chain Baron, Discard Street, Go Summon Pearly. So they do have a Negate or a Destroy. I hate the Dispatter plus called by combo, but Pearly hits a pretty there. So now we have triple pretty memory in our hand. Um, I guess we could just go main phase pearly effect to upgrade. You know, force them to do something. If they don't, sure. Then we have a negate for your negate. But the pearly goes, activate pretty memory. Both players gain a thousand. Go summon out per lily. And then per lily effect to go search. Grab my friend pearly. The opponent forgot to gain a thousand, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, there we go. They told him. And then... Yeah, they added the My Friend Pearly off the Pearl Lily, activate My Friend Pearly, pay 500, reveal Happy, 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 get Happy to hand, and then activate Happy onto Lily, and then Lily effect, upgrade into the Happiness, attack in the Visa Star Frost. Um, said, so does it not die? Question mark? But it does. Happiness effect to go search for Happy, and then they get the half, half the Baron. Activate pretty, chain happiness to attach, and then both players gain the thousand, attack over light heart, uh, yeah, 14 more, and then happiness effect to go search, and half again, so it's gonna half the baron again, and then activate happy, chain happiness to attach, and then discard sleepy, summon pearly, pearly effect, to go to the top three, they said, oh, uh, okay, wow, hits the delicious there, uh, it's not like the craziest hit ever but i mean that's that's still really solid that's solid um because they could have searched delicious anyways but they're gonna search happy activate happy they're gonna discard delicious to go summon out pearly pearly effect look at the top three they're gonna grab sleepy memory sure so decide to get rid of the delicious maybe doesn't want to go for the double new war um, happy, go search field spell, and then, actually, I don't even know how much attack, this doesn't have enough attack, right, oh, but we activated sleepy, okay, yeah, so we're not going to take any damage from that, okay, so we're going to send pearly, attach, go up into Noor, activate field spell, effect, send pearly, attach, and then set sleepy, end phase street effect, attach delicious, I mean, this is also fine, instead of going for a double Noor, you just go for one really fat new war, and your opponent doesn't even have enough cards to ever potentially have a comeback here. Uh, like, realistically, they're never coming back. Uh, they draw reframing, and then they just say, GG's, GG's. Yep. Uh, and also, they couldn't activate the Sleepy to attach to Happiness, if you're wondering why they didn't do that. And also, it's probably not even proper to do that, just in case they have Herald of the Abyss. You can, like, out that, I guess. Like, that's something. I mean, you're so far ahead here that it just doesn't really matter. But yeah, they say GG's, GG's. Uh, seeing how long the match was, the match was about 36 minutes long. Uh, probably a lot of time spent on just trying to combo or trying to, like, you know, pearly set up a board and not mess up. Because, you know, when you're in a position like that, you know that you won the game. All you have to do is not mess up. It's literally all on you at that point. But, yeah, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.